Hi, this is the first installment of what I plan to be a few on aspects of the Great Pyramid which aren't generally looked at. Uh, this one is focusing on the Dead End Passage in the Subterranean Chamber. It's also known as the uh, Southern Passage or the uh, Cul-de-Sac uh, when talking about it in the Subterranean Chamber. Uh, the subterranean chamber, just briefly, is the largest chamber in the Great Pyramid. It is situated at the end of the descending passage and is carved from the natural bedrock that the pyramid sits on. I won't go into that too much, though. But there are a number of features in the subterranean chamber, some of them quite mysterious, one of which is the Dead End Passage. Uh, the Dead End Passage um, is opposite the entrance to the subterranean chamber. Uh, you can see it on... On the left of the picture here, the picture was from 1910. Uh, the dimensions of the Dead End Passage are about two and a half uh, feet square or 75 centimetres square, so it's um, quite small. You can, uh, people can crawl down it though. Um, it's horizontal and it runs for a distance of approximately 53 feet or 16 metres. In this diagram, here, which is in Royal Cubits, um, you can see that about three quarters of the way down the passage, it has a bend in it. Uh, going by the uh, diagram, the bend is such that it would stop you seeing the end of the passage should you illuminate it with a torch from the entrance. Uh, uh, the exact purpose of the dead end passage remains unknown. There is a theory that it is the output line and check valve in a hydraulic ram pump. Uh, the theory being that the pyramid itself is um, a huge hydraulic machine. Um, the account from Howard Weiss states that February 14th, 1837, uh, the subterranean chamber and the passage proceeding from it to the south were strictly examined without any other result than the conviction that they were unfinished excavations nor could the purpose for which the path passage had been intended be discovered end quote personally going by the picture we see here of the end of the passage uh, picture taken from the edgar brothers circa 1910 i can't see any indication of a plug, a valve, or anything to show it's anything but a dead end and is part of the natural bedrock. I'm not saying the hydraulic pump theory is wrong, just that I cannot see any evidence of the dead end passage being an output line or part of a one-way valve. There's another picture of the end of the dead end passage here. You can still see carbon on the ceiling from old uh, torches, no doubt. And like the previous picture, it just looks like natural bedrock to me. Okay, well that ends this brief feature, and I hope some more soon um, are to come. One on the vertical pit, an aspect of, of it that you may not have known about before. And another on the Khufu cartouche, which was discovered in the uppermost leaving chamber above the so-called king's chamber uh, there's some evidence supporting that it is genuine that you might not have considered before or come across before okay thanks for viewing bye